Hello everyone, my name is Praise Wumi and I normally don't make YouTube videos but I feel compelled to come and make this YouTube video to at least help anyone that's trying to go into this and to understand what they're really signing up for because these people are not upfront with what's really going on. And I'm just, I can easily walk you through the process because I've been through the whole situation. I can walk you through the process and I can tell you what's really going to happen as you walk in. They're going to call you. They're going to tell you, you know, like you've been chosen. We want you to come in for an audition, you know, and you're really pumped because if you're anything like me, you're super excited. You know what I mean? You feel like, oh, this is finally it. This is your moment to shine. That's how I felt. I'm a bigger person. So it felt like, oh, no one else is going to recognize me like that. And this is my real moment to be recognized. And that's how it kind of felt, you know? And I was really excited because I was like, yay, like this is finally happening for me. Someone's seeing something in me. So I go for the audition and of course I get chosen. Um, when you get there, you know, the environment is different. You dress up, you feel like so nervous because you're standing for the whole audition. And, you know, that's not even like a problem, you know, go ahead and stand. <laughs> but they the situation is after you get chosen there's a lot of series of things that go on that's gonna make you realize that some things are just not just this is just not kicking not making sense um you go through right and you sorry about that my thing was weird um but you go through and they choose the people basically that they feel like they're gonna finish and they're gonna, you know, go strong. These are people that are really gonna spend their money. Now, most of the time, after you go through the audition, it's not like, oh, you go straight into work, you finally have an agency. No, they're gonna put you through training, right? This training period is 30, 30 weeks um, for you to go through the training period and then after that when you graduate you're gonna be a successful actress slash model you know what i mean or actor you know what i mean they're gonna teach you all of those things so you can really move forward and and that's what you think at least that's what they're gonna tell you you know this is this is really it so the real thing that's happening behind the scenes is that they pick basically the people that are the most nomadic they don't really have no experience they're um, they don't really know too much about it. They choose those people, those people who are really excited and everything like that. And they're going to call you back. You're going to probably come in the next day. And there's a lady, her name is Miss Di or Miss D. Um, she's going to make you feel really comfortable. She's going to make you feel really comfortable and she's going to make you feel very personalized. And I guess that's her job, you know what I mean? So she's not wrong <laughs> but her job is to make you feel really personal if you have a parent like mine they were really feeling her speech the audition night the audition night she's going to give you a really good speech that's going to make you really believe that this is where you want to be right so they're really implanting that in your head i'm like how bad you think about how bad could it really be if this is what they're representing so she makes you feel really personable very confident about yourself and she will tell you a whole bunch of stuff you know to this day i'm not really sure if those are true or lies because you know you kind of lose um so what i'm looking for trust in them confidence in them so she tells you she'll tell you like you know there were so many different things about you i remember she told me that I had the photographer's best picture and as soon as I walked in, you know, my personality was just shining through. A lot of things along those lines, right? To make you really feel like, oh yay, like this is it. <laughs> so she will market to you the whole training program. And this training program, you will eventually do it. It's it's hefty. Now seven. Well, we, because I'm a middle. We're a middle class family, so we. There's no way we could afford to just put two thousand, three thousand at once. We just don't have that. You know what I mean? So it was like, it was like this is what I really wanted to do, and you know I'm begging them, and like they. I'm just like you know really trying to get my parents to understand 
to me at least that I really want to do this. And to be honest, I really didn't want to do it. Like, there's nothing that hits you so hard than actually being in a whole audition, a whole audition, and being called back saying that you're really good and someone sees your potential. You know what I mean? So it was like very real in that um, moment. It was very real. Then um, and my parents agreed. So of course, like we don't have that. So they broke it down to a payment of each class being $72, $72, $72. And as soon as you get into these classes, it takes you a second before you realize what it is and what's going on. There's a dress code, but no one follows the dress code after a while, you know. Um, but what got me later on, I realized this later on, that the, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no real curriculum. That's the word I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. There's no real curriculum. After a while, you get to... Um, you realize that this is re repetition and you're not really learning too much. And the teachers, you really like, you eventually like start loving some teachers. Like I truly loved some teachers and I hope that they truly loved me. And that wasn't all just, you know, uh, just a game, but I truly loved some teachers. I made some good friends. Hold on. Let me show you the sheet of paper that they give you to make you feel like, oh, this is legit. Give me one second. All right, so here is the program. I don't know if y'all can see it, but here it is. And it's basically, like I said, 30 weeks, $72. And there's a lot of hidden fees in this. You think it's just going to be a flat payment of $72? And these are things that they tell you after. Words. Now, what I also didn't say before is that when you're getting into this training program, you have to sign papers, of course, you know, you're going into like a school type system, you know what I mean? So you have to sign papers. She doesn't explain to you to the extent what these papers actually mean. And, you know, actually, I take that L, like my bad, I, we probably should have sat there and read through it because we don't know these people so we don't know if what they're doing is a hundred percent you feel me so we just think they have this office their main spokeswoman her name is miss die her main spokeswoman is super really nice very like personable someone that you can really like get to know and understand you know what i mean so you think to yourself like you know this makes sense so why would they try to put anything between the lines at least that's what i was thinking and it just, it's not that simple. So for anyone out there, completely read any contract that they give you. Anything that you don't understand, make sure that you ask because you get put into a situation where you did not warrant yourself for and you just sit there wondering, how did this come to play? And then you understand that you probably signed a paper that you didn't understand, that you didn't get, okay? Now, some of these things get repetitive and they're part of the hidden fees or the $60 for photo shoots. The $60 is for you to pay for a copyright and for you to get your photos. Yeah. There's an extra $60 and you have one, two, three. Yeah, three photo shoots that you'll be paying that $60 for. Um, they don't really send out reminders, so you really just have to remember on your own. So you get some decent photos. I really like the photographer before. I don't, I don't know if he's still there. His name is Trey. I really liked him because he was like, you could feel like his vibe and it was really cool. Especially when you like get to know a group of people and the people that you're hanging out with, the people that you're there with, they're really cool. So that I really did enjoy. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. But where it got me was I was on my final legs and there were some classes that I just couldn't make, but I really wanted to graduate. And I called in. I'm just like, so what can I do so I can still graduate? And this lady tells me point blank, you can miss three classes and you can still graduate. What she fails to tell me is that you can miss three classes, but you have to pay for those three classes. So 
those things that those tiny little details that they fail to say is very detrimental. Like I said before, we're a middle class family. We don't have thousands of dollars to just be, you know, just throwing out all over the place. So we were really caught off guard. And then that actually happened the day of my rehearsal. So the day, just the day before my graduation is when she decided to tell me, hey, you owe $360. Graduation also does count as a class, so you do pay $72 for that graduation as well. Um, and I was really, like, stunned. I was like, that's not, that's not fair. <laughs> and uh, the lady was just like, I don't know what to tell you. They didn't have too much to say. It was very, like, like it was our fault that we didn't see that. So I think to myself at this point, it's a scam. Now, let me tell you the list of things that put me in a place. First off, the teachers there, they're lovable or whatever, but a lot of them don't actually have real training or whatever. You probably should just ask some of your teachers that if you're in there right now. Ask some of your teachers that. Classes do get repetitive. There's some classes that you will pay for that the teacher's not even there until like halfway through the class and you're paying for it and someone else is going to have to step in. Another thing that you are going to have to go through these continuous payments, they get shady in a way because there's still other payments that are like under the loop that they don't tell you about until you're already in the program. This is after you've signed the documents, after that, after they've already put that in place, that you now, you know, you're stuck, you know how much more to go. And lastly, that graduation process, it's on a monthly basis. Their audition is on a monthly basis. That's actually something I didn't mention, but it's on a monthly basis. They're mass producing people. So now do you really think with them taking, let's say 10, 15 people each month that they're going to actually be able to find jobs for all of you? No. Also, while I'm on this topic, you get one agent, and that person's the agent for all of the JCs all over America. And it's not like you think of an agent as someone that helps you find jobs. Of course, you're gonna have to work. Like I, I did a lot of stuff, putting a lot of stuff out, and I didn't really get anywhere or get anything. You know what I mean? And they would say that like, "Oh, that's your fault." And they were honest; they weren't helping, and we're not helping. Um, at all and you have to do it all by yourself these are like like I said these are people that are, they make sure these are people that they don't know what they're doing um so you don't have that knowledge as someone to say it's done a couple of jobs I was even I was just trying to be an extra um as most people were trying to do you know you're just trying to get a job just trying to work just trying to push yourself in a way you haven't been pushed before and that's where that's what you thought it was going to be. And it wasn't like that. So the chances of you getting a job or anything is quite slim. Not going to lie to you. Is slim. Then, um, then to add to it, there is a lot of stuff that they won't tell you about until the very end. And that's one of the things that was really sad to me. Um, another one... Another, like, issue to me was that if we owed this $360 for these three classes, should it have there have been someone telling you this beforehand, before the day before your graduation? Of course, there should. And that's just, like, bad business tech, like, completely bad business. So that was that. We got shocked. And we are just like, you know what? I don't think this is working because, one, you're not, you like, one, <laughs> you're not getting any jobs at all to that the classes are repetitive and you're not really learning too much literally let me tell you what you can like on god like i could do this for free and teach you stuff to be honest they're not things that you have to pay three thousand dollars for you to really get something out of these are just to be honest with you 100 percent is that something that you have to pay that for <laughs> it's literally just it's literally so ridiculous now that I see it. You just don't know what you're running into. But they don't tell you these things beforehand. So we we stepped out of it. Like, this is from my perspective. We stepped out of it and was like, no. Uh. So that was a while ago. So later on, um, after 90 days, I got we get a letter in the mail 
telling us that if we don't pay the rest of the $360 that they're going to go to a corporate or something like that to make sure we get it. And it's going to be bad for my bad for the credit and all this other stuff. And I was just thinking to myself, why would they be able to just go to this organization to make sure that we take that they just take the money, right? Why would they just go, right? But then what I realized is in all those papers, they didn't explain a lot of things. They didn't explain a lot. They don't tell you about the $60 photo shoots. Mm -hmm. They don't say anything to you about that. They don't tell you about the lack of jobs. They give you a couple of resources that barely do anything for you. They don't tell you about that. They don't tell you about what you're really going to be learning in depth each one because the curriculum is not really a curriculum. It's just like something to like make you make it seem like you see. And you just, you, I, everything just came dawning on me and I was just surprised. Like, it's just like, wow. So they were really just eating my money, hard earned money for nothing. So as we're out with that, um, everyone's saying that I should just finish the class this and graduate because because we've already spent more than 2,000 places far from us. We've already spent so much money on gas, getting there, all the different things that we have to buy for the class that they also don't tell you about. <laughs> oh, snap. Like, I'm just realizing so much. And you just get stuck in that loop. So I'm warning you. This is obviously, it's your choice. It's your decision at the end of the day. You choose what you want to do. I personally am telling you that you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do this. What you should do, if anyone wants to look up casting calls, look up casting calls by yourself. All you need to do is have a headshot and a resume. These are things that you can make online. Okay? That's all you have to do. And just start looking for jobs because that's more, that's more efficient than paying for someone to help you look for jobs and they don't do that. Please, do, help you, do yourself a favor and help yourself out with that. Um, my name is Prezo Omi again. And if anyone has any questions, go ahead and put it down in the comments if anyone's going to watch this. <laughs> but that was my honesty. Like, don't do this. I know you're excited. The audition is real. You're really excited. But you will find out. There's, no, there's so many people like me. I also saw the scam videos on YouTube. And I was just like, nah. Because I called her and I asked her about it. She was just like, well, they just didn't want to pay. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it. So that's me sharing myself for you. It's JC Atlanta. It's me sharing myself to you. So please take care and do yourself that favor. Thank you.